hello guys uh, so uh, in this video we are going to see difference between test ngs and rotations and they are find bias and find all so have you guys ever encountered a situation where you need to identify a web element with multiple locators uh, i'm sure you must have so uh, those of you who do not know uh, to achieve this uh, we uh, will have to use uh, two of the test ng's annotations which are find bias and find all find bias uh, when uh, find bias is like uh, when we when the required web, web element objects needs to match all of the given criteria then we use find bias and find all is so when the required web element objects need to match at least one of the criteria in that case we use find all annotation so enough of this theory let's let's see how this thing actually works so here first we will use this annotation find bias and uh, then we will give it like this then um, what are all the criteria uh, from which it needs to match all of those criteria so use like find by and then which criteria it needs to be needs to match so suppose take the example of google web page so here is the web page okay so suppose uh, we need to identify this image so inspect this okay so here is this uh, with id we need to we need to verify this image okay so the first locator will be id okay then um, uh, what are all the criteria means all the criteria which needs to be matched before locating objects we, will, we are going to keep all those criteria separated by commas okay so here another criteria will be well corrected constant okay so okay so uh, do it like this Hey guys okay the another criteria will be find by and we can use xpath in order to locate it so let's see what is the xpath So uh, let's create XPath in order to in order to locate this. Okay. So now and the another criteria will be this XPath. Okay. So now. In order to in order to locate elements, uh, both of these conditions needs to be satisfied. Then only it is going to locate that element. So let's uh, use this private list of element. okay so in order to initialize this we will have to use a constructor so that uh, these elements get initialized okay now on the regular stuff which you all guys must be knowing uh, so we will have to use system class in order to set property 
then give the key code driver attribute is you keep the driver and the path of the driver where the driver is actually present so here in our um, my c drivers there so let's copy the path and let's paste it here okay now uh, initially we will have to declare a driver object just a new firefox driver okay now now we will have to write a, a statement in order to initialize these okay so we will use page factory dot initialize elements now in order to initialize we'll use driver object and this page object okay and now the next step is Uh, we have to perform a test so public void right give it any name like uh, like annotations annotations elements okay uh, the next step will be to launch a page dot get https google dot com where we have to perform the test. Now the next step will be to find out the size number elements okay so the number of elements will be stored as we have declared this collection so we'll check the size of how many elements got stored in this and after this driver dot close okay now let's check this Test and the test. Okay, so it's saying that the uh, number of elements is one. Okay, because it verified from these two criteria. So, uh, as I have told you that. Uh, it needs to this find bias needs to match both of these criteria in order to locate elements so let's check that whether if we give some random thing whether it locates or not so like this we will give now now when we run this now this is not going to be identified on a page only this will be there but uh, since in find bias we need to uh, and these two criteria needs to be met in order to locate elements. So now this, when we run this, it should give us the counts zero. So let's check. So as expected, the count is zero because it could not verify this one okay so now there is another annotation which is find all 
uh, for this um, in find all any one of the criteria which meets the requirement which meets this locator uh, in that case the elements will be identified like uh, either in find all it uh, will verify either of any of this given criteria so suppose if we give like this find all okay now in this in this case the count will be one as i have told you either this one it is going to look for or this one any of the one it is going to find on a page then it is going to store that element okay so let's check this run as test and get test okay so as expected it verified any of this criteria and gave the element count to be one okay so this was all about find all and find by so let me repeat this thing once more find by is when the requirement required web element objects needs to match all of the given criteria all of the given criteria means this one this criteria and this criteria then we use find by and find all is when the required web element object needs to match at least any one like like any one of this or this okay now find bys have and conditional relationship among the find by whereas find all has the or conditional relationships among the find bys so and uh, one more thing which you guys always keep in mind that uh, the elements are not guaranteed to be in the document order which are located by find by so by this statement i mean that uh, the elements which you have given find by it is not that you if you have given find by as a first statement then it is going to look for first this one no it can be in any order so this was all about the difference between the two and the implementation thank you bye